This week, I'm going to be attempting every kind of Russian piping tips in one video. That is the flower piping tips, the pointer Russian piping tips, and the ball tips. And if that isn't enough, once all of my flowers, the cupcakes are perfectly decorated, I'm going to put them into a beautiful bouquet because Mother's Day is fast approaching and I love my mother and I'm stuck in my house, so I'm gonna make something for her. And thank you so much to Sensodyne for sponsoring this video. I made a ball Russian piping tips video a long time ago and it was terrible. I didn't really like the way the cupcakes turned out, but I've since seen people use these to like twist back and forth and make pretty flowers. So I'm pretty excited to try that. Then there's like the typical Russian piping tips that you guys probably know. If you don't know, when you pipe them, they make like a whole flower and they're stunning and I'm obsessed. And then there's these pointed doodat Russian piping tips that create this like ruffle pattern, but the only thing I've tried with those is to make like a ruffly dress for a cupcake, like a princess dress, you know what I mean. But I'm thinking that I might be able to do like a ruffly flower, like a carnation. I just wanted to challenge myself to try to use these tips in kind of a different way. And then I have my cupcakes that I've already baked, I put in green liners, because once they're all assembled, it's all gonna be green and they're gonna look like a bouquet. Really excited. Since I've only played around these with these ones like once, I have no idea what one's gonna make the nicest flower, but I have this giant coupler that I can put on my bag so I can just change it out. So I'm just gonna play around and see which flower I like best. But the other ones I'm a lot more familiar with, so I'm gonna pick out the best tips that I think are gonna work for this. Color all my icing, beautiful spring colors. We need some happy colors in our lives right now. And then bag everything and get ready to make some flowers. It is super satisfying to seeing all three different kinds of refresher mining dips like all in front of me at once because I've only ever done a video using each kind of one, which this should be interesting. But to start off, I'm gonna use that traditional flower tip because I'm most used to them and I still haven't quite figured out how I'm doing the flowers with those. But to start off, I've got like a rose kind of flower tip. I'm just gonna practice on my table, make sure everything looks good. Okay, that's looking really good. I did like a light marble between two colors of pinks for this one, just to give it a little bit more depth. Let's do the ones and cupcakes. Ooh, these tips make the most gorgeous flowers. I especially love this one, the contrast in color. Before we jump into the next one, I wanna say a big thank you to our sponsor, Sensodyne. You guys know that I make a lot of sweets and cakes. I mean, I've been on YouTube for over six and a half years and I have made over 300 dessert videos. Sweets, like many other things, can bother your teeth if you have tooth sensitivity. I had no idea that this was such a common problem. Apparently 40% of people suffer from tooth sensitivity and half of those also have gum problems. Basically, if you get that painful twinge in your teeth when you're eating like sweet things, hot things, or cold things, you could be part of that 40%. My husband has extremely sensitive teeth. The only thing that has helped him battle it is Sensodyne toothpaste. He won't use anything else. It is the number one toothpaste brand recommended by dentists for sensitive teeth. Sensodyne Sensitivity and Gum is a daily dual action treatment that relieves sensitivity and improves gum health. Over time, it builds a protective layer over the sensitive areas of the teeth. It removes plaque to help with gum problems. I will leave all their information down in the description box below, so make sure to check that out. Now, let's get back to the cupcakes. What kind of flower is that supposed to be? Um, a carnation? I don't know exactly what a carnation looks like, but I don't think it's like that. What are you doing? 
<laughs> I'm looking at buttercream carnation videos. <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay, I figured it out all on my own without any help. So I'm gonna use a large round tip and build myself a little mound in the middle. Then I'm gonna get my skinny ruffle tip and try to do ruffles around it. That's the worst cupcake I've ever made. Ugh. Better. That's definitely better. Who knew <laughs> the most helpful video was gonna be one of mine? Look at that. Look at that flower. That looks just like a carnation. Still fine. You looked away for two seconds and then I was holding it, it just drops. God, come on. This cupcake is cursed. Boom. Carnation. So easy. When you have the right tip. It does work, it actually does look pretty. I think it's hilarious when I can't remember how to do something and I have to watch back on my like six and a half years of content and try to figure out, it's like, I did this before. Why isn't this working? And I have to teach myself, done with you yellow icing. On to the next one. The next tip I was going to try is the ball tip, but considering I have no idea how to make a flower with that, and I just had such a hard time with that one, I'm gonna pause and move on to my favorite tip that I actually know how to use and works really well, which is the 1M piping tip. I know it's not a Russian piping tip, but also it's like the best piping tip in the world. So I'm gonna make a rose. Just really need a confidence booster right now. I love this step. You wanna see a hydrangea? Lastly, we have the ball tip. I'm not gonna use all these tips because this one is jagged, this one's jagged, and this one's too thin. So I will try four for you guys and see what one makes the prettiest flower. Kinda looks like a carnation. It does not look like carnation. And it has a hole in it. What kind of carnation has a hole in it? No, 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 no. We're not comparing. We're not comparing flowers. No. I like this one. It looks really delicate, really ruffly, unlike a carnation. And I think I can pipe a really cute center in it. I like the way it's laying down. Last one is like, what are those big flower piping tips again? Except it has three petals, so I can make one big flower. But I'm gonna pipe the center and then pipe the petals. I think it's gonna look really pretty. I think I have everything to like finish DIYing this. Basically, I wanna make a big bouquet that I think is gonna look really, really pretty. So I'm gonna put a can of soup in the bottom to help weigh it down, because I don't want this to fall over. And then I've got my cups here that are gonna hold the cupcakes. I'm gonna staple them all together and put some like tissue paper around it to look like leaves, wrap it around with cellophane wrap in tissue paper and put a pretty ribbon and bow on it. And then I just found a flower pot that would be big enough to hold seven cups for seven cupcakes.
okay though. Like that turned out so much better than I thought it was going to. I am obsessed. Happy Mother's Day to all of you moms out there. I know everyone's stuck in their house and quarantining and maybe you can't see your mom. If you can't, do a porch drop off or send her a letter, try to do something nice. And thank you again to Sense9 for sponsoring this video. I will see you guys again next time. Key Sexy B-Roll.